Hey, Jay, man. How are you? How you doing, Woo Woo? Doing pretty good. So, how are you feeling about the Cambodian genocide? It's it's interesting. It's pretty sad, but it's interesting to learn about it. It's it definitely sad, but I mean, the way that things were handled during it and the way that countries had it wasn't really the best. I, I think that's what makes it sad, really. Yeah, especially the way the government hid it away from us because of their involvement in, like, Vietnam, and they didn't want the American citizens and other rest of the world to know it was our fault. Right. The fact that, I mean, we were in Vietnam, and we were just kind of, you know, having our war, and we ended up shooting too close to Cambodia, which made a little <laughs> few of them mad, and they started an uprising, the, um... Pol Pot, Goddess, Khmer, the, I believe it's called the Khmer Rouge. Yeah, the Khmer Rouge. And um, they made an uprising, and anyone who basically was smart, wealthy, even could read and write, was pulled out on the street and shot because they couldn't have anyone standing up to what they believed was their highest power. Yeah, they didn't want um, an uprising, so they just took out anyone that could think for themselves, pretty much. Correct. And then our government decided to shield us from that because they didn't want us to realize that, I, I believe it's because they didn't want us to realize that every country do this. I mean, think about it, World War II with the Nazis. They rose to power and started a genocide against the Jewish. Um, even in America, we didn't have a genocide. We had really the deduction of Japanese Americans yeah, and we threw them in internment camps. Yeah, that's, it's just sad that human beings have the ability to do stuff like that. Like, they're the same as us. Exactly. And just, we, if we wouldn't have put the uh, Khmer Rouge in, or put Pol Pot into power, then the Khmer Rouge wouldn't have taken over and we wouldn't have had this problem. Right. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't really our choice. We were just trying to fight our war in Vietnam and get the heck out of there, you know. But um, and what really happened was the after uh, Cambodia fell to the communists, it just kind of went all south from there. Yeah, with Lon Nol in office, and he was weak and very corrupt. Pol Pot took over and the Khmer Rouge came in right after that and just did heinous crimes against humanity and we didn't do anything to stop it. Right. Um, we tried to stop it, really. Um, and all that happened was when the heat died down from us, well, Richard Nixon tried to stop it, but he was also having his own problems in America with, you know, the Watergate. I don't know if it was quite the Watergate scandal yet. But he was just having his own problems, so he just decided to um, not inform America that this this awful thing is happening across the sea, you know? Yeah. Um, Especially so close where we just pillaged everything and bombed, and even we even bombed Cambodia a little bit. Yeah, we um, bombed the eastern part of Cambodia, and I I believe that's what set off some of the angers. Um, that of Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge. I think that's what, you know, kind of stoked the fire there. Yeah. It's just terrible to think about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Hey, maybe if you just twist the whatever thing you're right here. Cool. Yeah, yeah, don't work. All right, Dan. You fellas need a ride? Sure. So I gotta ask, what's it like not having the internet? It's alright. I just get Amazon through the mail. Hey, have you guys ever heard of UPS? My brother got kicked out of the Amish community and now he delivers my packages. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> Jack Links is the good stuff. And we're back. So, leaving, or coming back where we left off. Cambodian genocide. Yep. 
Cambodian genocide. Uh, so what happened was, um, you know, again, uh, Rich Nixon was having his American problems, and he shielded us, which was not good of him to do because it didn't let us see what the world really was outside of America. We just knew what we knew, you know? I wouldn't say it was a terrible thing either. Like, right. he should have let us know, but he wanted to do what was best for America at the time instead of being involved in every other country. Right. I mean, and then um, uh, sometime later we got involved in the Iraq, or the war on terrorism. Yeah. And there's awful things going on over there, and now everyone knows about it, I feel like. Yeah. It's... Because the news stories and... You know, just reports being taken on this thing, these things happening overseas, but I just wonder why didn't we do it before? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing is going on, and we're actually addressing it now with the mm -hmm. killing of innocent people and senseless just murder. murder. And um, that, I feel like that's how we can prevent it, prevent any of this from happening in the future is a, maybe not, you know, poke the bear and <laughs> get everything, get the gears in motion. And, you know, even if, even if the gears are in motion and things are happening, just don't keep it hush-hush, you know. Yeah, tell the, tell the citizens or even read into it yourself. I mean, if you're, you have sources, you know, mm -hmm. don't, don't just listen to what the news tells you. You can Google it and find reputable sources and. And, um, see, that was the thing. I feel like we could have stopped the Cambodian genocide earlier. I realize we just got out of Vietnam, but we might have stopped it earlier if Richard Nixon had let us see what's happening because, yeah, I'll take another example from World War II. Like, uh, the Americans, like, the, the draft was made and people didn't have to be pulled out of their homes to go fight this war. People were lined up at these stations ready to go fight for their country and what they believed in. So I feel like if, you know, we had that area of expertise over there for people that want to fight for what they believe in and want to fight for what's right, then the Cambodian genocide would have either stopped early or never happened at all if we just went over a little early and they had let us see what was really happening. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> America is a very strong country and a lot of other countries would do what they try to help them with. And we could do very much to help them, but we didn't. We just sat back and let them do what they had to do. Mm -hmm. And it's not even to mention that they killed 25% of a population. I mean, I just imagine if it was stopped early. We might have, they might have, I mean, I'm not saying that they get, it would have good that they killed people. They might have only killed 10 or 15% of a population rather than the 25. Yeah, you know? I mean, 25%, that's a quarter. That's a lot of people. And I think that's about it to all our topics. Yes, sir. And that's the Cambodian Genocide by Woo Woo and J-Man.